Starting lineups just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks for joining us as we start the new season. Tonight, we'll see the Utah Jazz as they play against the Phoenix Suns. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Josh Okogi is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And for the Jazz, Collins and Kessler playing up front. Clarkson the two, and Markkinen is the three. And it's Sexton in at the one. We've got new rosters, fresh starts, and a lot of hope, which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the offseason storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Clarkson against Beal. Shot left block. Here's Kessler. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Hey, take it right to the defense. Not a bad way to start this game. Now Booker. Over Sexton. Booker can't get it to go. And he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Now here's Clarkson. From 11 feet away, Kevin Durant pulls it in. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. Some players just have an innate knack for scoring the ball, Grant. Jordan Clarkson, definitely one of them. Yeah, absolutely, B.A. That jump shot has to be honored. And because of that, he's able to get inside and create for himself and others. Shooting two. And he drops a first. You know, Brent, for the Suns franchise, it's hard to believe they've never won an NBA title. Pretty incredible with the uh, ring of honor in Phoenix that they have and the amount of Hall of Fame players that have put on that jersey. You know, they've lost the finals a few times, up 2-0 back in the 21 finals. They've had a couple of MVPs, some fantastic teams. The title is the last frontier for the Phoenix Suns. And so Clarkson nails both of them. And Grant, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A., and two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. Now here's Clarkson. Pass to Sexton. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Just a bit of a rut here early, just one of four so far. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down! Just another part of Devin Booker's amazing offensive game. He finds wide open guys. And Bradley Beal is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Outside Sexton. To the paint, Kessler. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Five to shoot. Here's Collins. The underrated part of Kevin Durant's game. His length and timing affecting shots. 
Here's Okogi. The kick to Durant. Goes back up. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. The Jazz have gone only one of six so far. And the Jazz call time here. Their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. So Utah ends up going with a new group. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. Bates Diop comes in for Durant. Lee, he's checked in for Okogie. And it's Gordon in for Devin Booker. Here's Hendricks. Pass to Sensabaugh. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. The Phoenix Suns are proof that one smart trade can make a big impact, Brent. Now, B.A., I'm, I'm going to challenge you here. Is it smart to put Kevin Durant on your team? Of course it is. I mean, that's a blockbuster deal. The franchise went for it. They grabbed the talent. They grabbed one of the best players of all time to join this core to see if they could push themselves to an NBA championship. Here's Lee. Gordon on the wing. Beal outside. From outside the arc. Rebound, Utah. Pass to Sensible. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. And so it's Beal who brings up the ball for the Suns. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. It's hauled in by Sensible. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Pass to Olenek. And he banks in the layup. Well, Kelly Olenek can score all over, but really valuable when you start to get points from this kind of balanced attack. And so the first quarter is in the books. Jazz out in front, up four. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. just joining us we played through one quarter in this one and take a look at the jazz performance here guys what do you think well you have to credit their effort on the defensive end it set the tone for this contest yeah defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end well grant you were in the playoffs several times during your career the postseason's just different from the regular season. It's 100% another level. I'll never forget my first series, 1996, against the great Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway of the Orlando Magic. Of course, yeah, my Pistons got swept. That was quite an introduction to the playoffs. And so in the game for the Suns, Grayson Allen is out there with Devin Booker. Then it's Nasir Little. Then it's Bull Bull. And it's Durant in at the four spot. Kessler with a bucket. 
Kessler's got a second basket. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Booker finds Allen. Here's Bowl. It's rebounded by George. Utah leading. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, Kevin Durant talked about what keeps him going. He said, quote, simply put, I enjoy hooping. I like when the ball goes through the rim, working on my game, building with the team. It gives me joy that I crave, a kid-like energy. So I'm going to keep chasing that feeling. And the second that goes away, I'll call it quits. Brian? Allie, thank you. Great concentration from Booker. I like to see him fend off the defense like that. And one thing about Devin Booker, he continually hones his offensive game, Brent. Yeah, I'm trying to find a weakness in what Devin Booker can provide you offensively, and there aren't any. His strengths are absolutely elite. Shot creation, great range. He's a clutch performer. This guy is a special offensive talent. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for the Suns. Okogi comes in for Little. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Colin Sexton. Defense tends to overcommit just because Booker's such a great offensive threat. That time he used it to his advantage. Free throw good from Booker. You know, you think about it. In 2015, a dozen teams passed on Devin Booker. Got to be tough for those front offices to watch him play this way. Both free throws good from Booker. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on... He can be lights out. Sexton against Booker. To the middle. Here's Clarkson. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. And Sexton working the ball to a teammate. That's what you want to see from him. Collins against Durant. Pass to Allen. Over Clarkson. And the Suns miss again. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the board. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Clarkson's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Now here's Booker from about 19. That's good from Durant on the assist from Booker. And Durant doesn't need more than a click to get one off. Pass to Collins. Now here's Markkinen. And here's Clarkson. 116 left in the second. Six to shoot. The three is up. The Suns clear it. Durant's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Okogie. And Collins with the big block. Good reach for Collins, anticipated that shot and sent it back. On the wing, Clarkson. Let's it go. And it's Clarkson again missing. Now, even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Booker can't get it to go. The Jazz have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Sexton seeing the floor, knowing where to run that time. Good pace. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by six. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Okogi. Still no points. Pass to Nurkic. Clock is at three. Durant. Durant owning the inside. Great intensity from KD not allowing the defense to end the play. 
And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Jazz out in front. They're up by four. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thank you so much, guys. John, that's a talented team over there. What's given you guys the edge thus far? I think we just came ready to play. Uh, I think the home, home course giving us a little advantage. And I think we're just coming out and compete tonight. Uh, and I like the way we're starting. Uh, and I think we have to maintain that to finish the game out. Their mentality was right on from the get-go, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Jazz? They put a big effort in the rebounding battle, working to corral everything. That's the hustle you love. If they can maintain this approach, it'll give them the edge in other areas of the game. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Terrible execution deal offensive end. Rushing things, taking bad shots. Here's the thought. Pound the ball inside. The higher percentage looks. Put yourself to the line. Get back on track. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. The Suns trailing. The forwards, it's Marketing and Collins. Sexton runs point with Clarkson at the two. And it's Kessler in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's the group for Will Hardy as we begin the second half. And that's the shot that makes Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant. He's so special from the mid-range. Well, Brent, Durant is at the point of his career where we can discuss if he's one of the best ever. I don't think that you could argue that. He certainly has all of the accolades, B.A., All-Stars, titles, MVPs, finals MVPs on that 75th anniversary team. Just stack them all up. He's right there. And here are the Suns now, following the bucket by the Jazz. Beal, no good. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Market and misses. Well, the Suns shooting only 29% on this one. Not great. It's Booker on the wing. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. And here's Nurkic. Collins defending. To the inside. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Okogi's got his first points in this one. Uh, Nurkic getting more and more comfortable at finding the open men on this team. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Outside Sexton. Shoots over Booker. And too long on the shot. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey. Force him off the spot. Okogi. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. For Utah, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Collins passes to Sexton. Clarkson, right side. Let's go with a three. He's off on that one. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. They get it back. Okogi's shot is off. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Here's Sexton. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Uh, I like when Devin Booker is decisive about forcing the action. It's clear the defense is respecting his ability to score the ball.
Shooting two. That free throw good from Booker. Both teams deciding to change it up. drops he ties it up now here's Olenek pass to George 11 feet out no good that time solid defense from Bowles <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch and here's Booker he's got six Here's Lee. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. The Suns have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Gordon outside. Pass to Bates Dia. George against Booker. Rebound, Utah. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now here's Horton Tucker. No made baskets yet. Shot clock at five. With the 10-footer, Bowl grabs the board. Booker with it. Gordon attacking. Misses from close range. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Jazz out in front. They're up by two. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Bradley Beal. Kevin Durant is out there with Nasir Little. Then there's Eric Gordon. And it's Eubanks in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Olenek. The Suns clear it. Durant's got rebound number seven tonight. To take the lead. Utah with the rebound. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. And the basket by Horton Tucker. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Gordon down low. And it's Kelly Olenek with the foul. That's his first foul. Both teams will make substitutions. We played through about a minute here in the fourth. Little, no good. Uh, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Shots good by Sensabaugh. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. The Suns trailing. Booker surveying the floor. 
from 13. Oh, you can't let Booker get that close. You have to be alert if you're guarding Devin Booker. He's terrific at cutting apart the defense with the dribble move. Clarkson up top, hounded by Beal. Looking to get it going. And it's Clarkson missing. The Suns have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. KD splashes the triple. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? And the Jazz call time here. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Markkinen's checked in for Utah. And the Suns also making a change. Okogie's checked in for Little. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Will Hardy was going over with his team. They said in the huddle, this is it. No excuses. Let's figure out a way to win. A couple of players spoke as well, firing up their teammates. A great ending could be in store, guys. And Allie, thanks. And it's Clarkson missing. And it's Beal with the ball for Phoenix. It's a one-point game. So they take the lead. Durant's got five points in the quarter. Happy to put the team on his back, especially in the biggest of moments. Durant nails a huge shot. Shoots off the step back. And it's Clarkson missing. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Nice shot by Durant. Durant's got nine points now in the second half. Well, we know KD can carry the load offensively any night, but we see a little stat padding here. Clarkson against Beal. Clarkson passes to Collins. Yes! And the foul! It's going to be on Bradley Beal. Collins not the first option, but wow, stepping up. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, picking all the low-hanging fruit, defenses these days want to concede the mid-range, and they're happy to take it. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And not the guy that you want to put at the line in these moments. He's not missing these. For Phoenix, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's Booker. Kessler with a rebound. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Pass to Clarkson. 51 seconds left in the final quarter. Six on the shot clock. Booker against Sexton. Kicks it out to Marketing. Here's the three. And knocks down the three. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Love seeing that there. A huge possession. And he nets it. Phoenix calls timeout. They're behind by three. 36 seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what's your take? If there's enough time on the clock to go for a two-for-one.
And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. And what an unbelievable offensive performance from him tonight. I mean, it's been crazy fun to watch him just, just go off. I mean, the defense had no chance. He just kept scoring over and over again. Neal right side over Clarkson. Phoenix no good that time either. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. He connects! Well, anyone questioning Durant's killer instinct can stop right now. Wow. And so they foul intentionally. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Free throw is good, and that'll put him up too. And despite all the pressure, Sexton right now does not look intimidated. This guy plays with a ton of confidence. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Phoenix calls timeout. They're down by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what do you think? If they leave the arc open, take it but it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Don't force something up. You gotta be smart here. Sixteen seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Durant. That one's wide left. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. The first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And normally Sexton is pretty consistent at the line, but the pressure can get to anyone. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Breathe easy now. The biggest free throws in the game, and he's coming through. Durant for three. Oh, gets the free to fall. Impressive offensive versatility for big. He can show you a variety of looks. Utah calls timeout. They're in front by two. Just four seconds left in the game.
And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And this is not the guy the defense wants at the line in this situation. Clarkson is a very consistent free throw shooter. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. And there's only one option. They need a triple. Now this is all from the perimeter and outside the arc here. And so it's Utah who scraped by with the win. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.